Yo, what is good, Lock and Lump Nation? Coming at you with another banger. Now, I realized something. I've been coming at y'all with a lot of jump shot videos, and they all do well. They get good feedback. Now, there's a reason for that. In spite how many patches there are, in spite how there are so many well-known jump shots, there's a reason why best jump shot videos always do well, even for small channels like mine. It's because you are all looking for a jump shot, a new jump shot, whatever the case may be. But, I never told y'all how to shoot like tips on how to green and make shots more consistently so I'm gonna do like a beginner's one for those that are like really struggling with their shot like they've never been good at shooting like all year basic tips for beginners or like if you're not a beginner if you're advanced these tips will help you out these are shooting tips that anyone can do you don't have to be the greatest player you don't have to be the greatest anything if you follow these tips i promise you will bring more shots and then i'll get into more advanced stuff if depending on how this video does but you guys can start by dropping a like let's get this video to i don't know 63 likes i don't know something easy and make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications if you're new. Now, we're going to get into tip number one. Now, these first three tips, we are not touching the controller. Well, we are touching the I mean, we're not going to be touching the baseball. We're not shooting a single shot for these first three tips. But they will help you immensely, I promise. The first tip I got for you is to turn off the shot meter. Now, keeping the shot meter on, I mean... Your green window is big. Your green window increases by 20% with the shot meter off. That is a proven fact. Now, you shoot a lot of whites with the shot meter and it's super inconsistent. I used the shot meter up until January and you can still be a good shooter with the shot meter, but it's a lot better for you to take the shot meter off and just get to know your jump shot. It will just make you a better player and a much better shooter. The second tip, now, I'm a 90s baby. I don't know what y'all consider an old head. I don't consider someone an old head until they're at least 40. But if you consider someone that's a 90s baby, not even 30 yet, to be an old head, then so be it. But do you know that song, Good Vibrations by Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch? Well, part of the song, it goes... Feel it, feel it. Feel the vibration. You need to feel the vibration. Turn vibration on if you have it. The controller. This right here. And if you're a PlayStation player, obviously it'll be a PlayStation controller. But your controller will vibrate when you're supposed to release shots. So when you're shooting, as soon as you feel a vibration, let go. Let go. Now I will say that the vibration can be inconsistent. So that's going to lead me to a tip later in the video now tip number three buy jump shot boost now you don't need jump shot boost honestly but if you're really struggling with your shot or if you have a low three point anything like that buy jump shot boost if you can afford them because they are very useful and they will help you make shots and i think they help you green shots i don't know if they actually open your green window but it will help you make shots that is for sure it's better to have jump shot boost than to not have jump shot boost so put them on we're actually going to get into a fourth tip without shooting the basketball and that's making sure you have the right badges on now none of the shooting badges are bad but you want to make sure you have the absolute right ones on i'm going to tell you the must-haves quick throw you want it that's a preference badge I like my shot to be as fast as possible. Ideally, you want your shot to be as fast as possible. But there are some people that like slower, easier to time jump shots. So you want to use gold or silver, that's fine. I know people that shoot the ball really well and get open consistently with silver quick draw. So if you want to use silver gold quick draw, you don't have to use Hall of Fame. But I recommend using the fastest shot possible whenever you go up against good defenders that know how to bait and close out all that stuff. The next badge you need is range extender. Not only will this extend your range, 
but range extender gives you a boost from everywhere. You can shoot the ball from 5 feet. Range extender is popping up, so make sure you put range extender on. Next you want hot zone hunter on. Now once you get your hot zooms, you get a green window boost. The green window is bigger in your hot zooms. So get your hot zooms and put hot zone hunter on. Then you want dead eye. So when defenders close out on you, you will still be able to green the shot. I mean, you don't need dead eye for that, but it will give you a boost to those 1%, 5%, 10%, 25%, 30, you know, whatever percent covered shot you want dead eye on. Plus, when you face good defenders, you are going to need this badge. Now, the rest, it kind of depends on how you play. I mean, you if you're struggling to shoot and you're just starting to get greens, maybe you want green machine on if you can put it on. I mean, the more greens you make, the bigger your green window gets. So you definitely want this on if you struggle to shoot. Now, if you're nice with it, you don't need it at all. But these are the badges you need to put on. The rest, it kind of depends on how you play. I mean, if you're a fades guy, you can probably take your green machine to silver. Difficult shots, gold. Clutch shooter, most underrated badge in the game. Once you get in a close game against comp, this badge comes in so handy. So... I recommend putting this on bronze. You don't need it higher than bronze. I mean, if you want to, I mean, you can. But I don't think any higher than bronze is necessary. So, like I said, these badges, you need max. Well, quick draw, that's preference. Green Machine, I recommend Hall of Fame. But you can have that on silver. You can get away with silver or gold. And if you're a Fates guy, I mean, these, ba these other badges, I mean, this honestly depends on how you play, what your role is on the team. But I told you to require badges. We're gonna move on to the next tip. The next tip, we don't like to do this. We wanna hop on 2K and play the game. But if you wanna be a great shooter, I mean, you gotta practice, bro. Practice your jump shot, especially if you're gonna use a new jump shot. You wanna go into my court and Here's a drill. I picked this up from Double HDF. I mean, it's very basic. Now, if you're a catch and shoot guy, this drill is perfect. You just pull up the ball machine thing, and then you take 10 shots from each spot. 10 from the corner, the wing, top of the key, and then the next one, and then next corner. Even if you're not a catch and shoot guy, you still want to do this drill because it'll get you in rhythm. It'll get you really confident with your jump shot. Now, speaking of catch and shoot, that leads me to my next tip. That is utilize catch and shoot. Even if you're an ISO player, an off the dribble player, whatever you want to call it. Catch and shoot is the easiest way to shoot and green shots. So, you see a lot of my clips, especially my jump shot videos. It's me wrapping around my teammate getting open catch and shoots. If he passes to me, like he kicks out for a wide open catch and shoot, I'm gonna take it. I'm not gonna do some dribbling while I don't have to. If you have the opportunity to shoot, shoot. Especially catch and shoot, because this is the easiest way to shoot. You don't need the catch and shoot badge. Now, if you're a spot up, you do wanna put on catch and shoot. But if you're not a spot up, you don't need catch and shoot. Although catch and shoot is a good badge to have on. But it is the easiest type of shot to green. So make sure you take advantage of catch and shoot opportunities and seek catch and shot opportunities. The next tip, if you're not using the shot mirror, like I told you, you want to look for a cue because I said this earlier, vibration is inconsistent and that's going to lead to another tip. This is the tip. Look for a cue in the jump shot and if you're a moving shots guy, look for a cue in the moving shots. Look for a cue in any type of shot that you take. Practice shots that you're actually going to take in a game. Don't just shoot some BS that you know you're not going to shoot in a game. A lot of people, they will just walk around and just shoot and green everything. And then they wonder why they can't green in a game. You're not going to be doing that. I mean, 2K19, you could just walk around and get open with a stretch big. But it's not like that in 2K20. So, my shot... Now, if you want to know my shot, I have a top three best jump shot video, and I'm actually going to leave a card, and I'm going to leave on the end screen. Check it out. The number one shot on that video, that's the shot I use. But, 
what I like to look at is a lot of people like to look at their hand. Look, like as soon as their hands are like this. But for me, that's inconsistent because there will be times where the hand will be like under the ball or whatever, and it'll be like a full white, and I'll miss. For me, the hand is inconsistent. That's what a lot of people like to look at. A lot of people like to look at the feet. Now, I don't exactly look at the feet. I mean, I look. Pause if this sounds weird, but I like to look at the lower, the lower portion of my player, the lower body part. I look at like the hips slash legs slash feet. I, I basically look at the whole lower body. And the way my shot is, and this is how a lot of shots are, your player basically jumps forward. So as soon as he starts to move forward, as soon as you start to see that movement go forward, that's when you want to release the shot. Now, on my jump shot videos, I do occasionally get comments asking about when do you let go? That's when I like to let go. I like to look at that. I like to look at my body, the lower body coming forward. That's my cue. Now, I like vibration and all that. It has changed my game completely. I didn't use vibration until like a few weeks ago and it changed my game. But, it can be inconsistent like I said. So, make sure you find a cue. It doesn't have to be the lower body. You might like looking at the hand. You might like looking at the feet. You might like looking at the elbow or whatever. Or maybe you don't even need to look at anything. You might just have a feel for it. You might just have that muscle memory. And that's cool. But whatever gets you to become a better shooter and green shots. Make sure you look for those cues. The last tip I'm going to give you guys. Don't get angry. Don't get frustrated when you miss. This is a problem I have. This is coming from someone that gets frustrated more than anybody. I'm a perfectionist. And no one shoots 100% every single game. And I want to shoot 100% every single game. But that's not realistic. So when I miss, I tend to get very frustrated. Especially if I feel like I timed the shot. There are going to be times where 2K does cheat you out of games. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be one of those guys that say... I'm not going to suck up to 2K and be like, Oh, well, it's not the game... I mean, some, most of the time, it is you. And I'm not going to lie. I mess up my shots. I hold myself accountable more than anyone. But there will be times for 2K cheat to out greens. You can't let it get to you. Because if you get frustrated that you're missing shots, you're going to build up anger and frustration. And it's going to throw off your game. And you're going to be missing over and over and over again. That's how I have bad shooting games. It's mental. Shooting's more of a mental thing than anything. It's more mental than anything. You know you need to be that skilled. There are straight bums. And I mean that in the nicest way. There are straight bums that can green wide open consistently. And I know you're better than those bums. You're better than them. So, take these shooting tips. Make sure you subscribe. And stay tuned for the more advanced stuff. Because there's stuff like quick stop and all that. And you are going to become an amazing shooter. You're going to become a great shooter off of this video alone. So make sure you reward your boy with a like. Leave a nice comment. And if you have any questions, make sure you comment. I will gladly answer them. I answer all my comments unless you say some super weird out of pocket stuff. And of course, hit that subscribe button. Turn on post bell notifications. Click a video on the end screen. I will see you there, or I will see you on the next one. But I'm out. Peace.